Welcome back to Foodie Down Bronx. I'm your host, M, the Hungry Dominican. Made by Kay is a New York City events and dessert catering business based right here in the Bronx. Joining us now to discuss her business and upcoming Bronx holiday pop-up shop is Kay L. Welcome, Kay. Hi, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Okay, so first thing I was going to lead on, I had like two things I wanted to lead with, but then they put these desserts in front of me. So let's just get right to like the important stuff. What am I looking at right now? All right, awesome. So I wanted to come on here today um, to show you guys how to make some holiday treats. Mm. Um, I know not every at-home baker is a from scratch baker, mm. you know. So I know guys need some tips and tricks on how to make a quick holiday treat. So we could bake some cupcakes like I did, or you mm. can buy some store-bought cupcakes. And then all I did was buy some um, candy canes from the store and then some Christmas theme chocolate covered pretzels, right? Okay. So I make these from scratch, but if you don't want to make them to save some time, because I'm sure we're making a whole bunch of things, you mm -hmm. know, in the mm -hmm. Thanksgiving Christmas kitchen, um, you know, and then we get these and then we just top our cupcakes with them. Alrighty, so I bought these here for you. Now are these, uh, these are yours? Yes, vanilla okay. cupcakes. Vanilla cupcakes. Yeah, vanilla Excellent. with okay. buttercream frosting. Okay. Alrighty, and then you can grab one if you like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> One, but okay. Yes. And you slide that right over. All see what's happening over here. This is, I'm, I, you know what? I'm so scared to eat this because I'm going to make a huge... So wait, before you eat them, we got to decorate mess. them, okay? Mm, All right? Fair enough, and okay. So I can if make you're making mess, it okay. for people, make sure you always use gloves, okay? But of if course, it's for yes. you and it's Safety for yourself, first. right. If it's for yourself, just dig right on in, okay? Yes. So we can take one of these chocolate-covered pretzels and put it Ooh. right on the top. Okay, here we go. All righty. Tippy top right here. Okay, and then Perfect. we have our candy canes, our chopped up candy mm, canes. Okay. All righty, you can grab one of those. Thank you. Yep, and you just stick it right on them. And then here we go, we have a Boom. holiday cupcake. Love it. Simple. Yeah, very right? simple. There you go, cheers Pretty. on that Cheers. 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 That. cheers. Awesome. And Excellent. I just brought out like a little Ziploc baggie just to show you how we make our little candy canes, little miniature ones. So you don't have to buy them many because you can't really find them anyone. Right, so you right. take a little baggie right from the dollar store, you break it in half, boom, boom. done and done. Done and done. You might Taste be like it. the fourth person who convinced me to have candy canes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not usually a big fan of them. Just but, break uh, it right up. Oh, nice. Okay. You can use it as sprinkles as well. You know, you chop them up and then just sprinkle it right on top of done your cupcake. Done. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, segment over. Done. Goodbye. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, so uh, tell me a little bit about your company, Made by Kay. Uh, when were you inspired to get into the cupcake business? Um, maybe about three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I always loved cupcakes, right? Um, but I was always intimidated because they did not come easy to me. Mm. Um, I was making chocolate covered strawberries, all those other things came so easy right. to me, but baking is truly a science. Yes, it is. Um, I could not get my frosting correct. Yeah. My cupcakes would be flat top. Sometimes they would be too big. So um, I never promoted them, right? <laughs> um, and then I finally got it like down packed. So Made by K Events is actually my second business, okay. right? Uh, my first business was not my passion baby, but it showed me and taught me all the lessons that I needed. And it was a cosmetic business. Okay. And I'm not into cosmetics as a passion, but it was like the first baby that led me to Made by K Events. Mm. And what happens with um, an event company, I'm passionate about people. I'm passionate about teaching. And um, when I partner up with these people, whether it's for baby showers, bridal showers, nonprofit events, children events, students, um, I actually get to connect with people on their most special days. So it really fuels my soul. So, so let's talk about it. that. You mentioned you do events. So you do yes. event catering. Right, you yes. bring along your desserts. Yes. So what type of events do you do you do? Okay, so I do personal events and nonprofit events. So I do baby showers, bridal showers, we do weddings, we can do events and dessert catering. Mm -hmm. Either you can just order the dessert or I come in, I set up, I do all the decorations, however you want it, right? But then um, what's very special to me is the nonprofit events, right? I go in, I coordinate. If they need me to make desserts, I'll do that. But it's all about more about the purpose and the passion and what comes from these events because usually the nonprofit events is always um, it's always purposeful. Right. So those those are the ones that mean the most to me. Wonderful. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, Bronx Visionary Group. Yes. Tell me about that. Okay. So because I have such a passion for working with people. 
um, my Made by K events page was be beginning to become flooded with um, nonprofit work. Right. So I was like, okay, I don't want to confuse my clientele, so let me set up um, a different platform strictly for my nonprofit work. So that's what Bronx Visionary Group is. It's just a collective of the young elite professionals in the Bronx. So I collaborate on different nonprofit events with mm -hmm. different professionals in the Bronx, and thus Bronx Visionary Group. Wonderful. And yeah. I'm assuming that uh, you you use social media a lot to push out absolutely, the message, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Social media age is like, if you can't make it in this age, you can't make it in any mm. age. This is the time. This is the time for anyone who's ever had a dream, who's ever had a passion. They are giving us the resources, the tools to move forward. This is why I'm here today. You know, right. <laughs> start right up, right up on social media. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I have the word coquito in my notes, which must mean you make some. Yes, right? I do. I do. And um, my best friend is Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. right? I'm African American, so they're like, "You making the coquito?" <laughs> like I'm like, "Listen, I got the ingredients, and and, and it's bomb." That's what like you need, my, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my, you know, I got the recipe. My coquito is bomb, and and it's the time. It's just. Um, it's soulful. It reminds you of the holidays, you know, my friend, you know, in her house, they listen mm -hmm. to the music. We yeah. had the arroz de gandules, yeah. you know, and so sipping that coquito is just like that warm feeling inside. Do you have, uh, do you stick with the, like the classic flavors or do you have like more? Yeah, so, um, so it's clientele based. Mm. Obviously okay. we have the original, sure. you know, that's sure. not to be touched. That's my favorite, but, uh, the sacred um, one. Right. right. Just, just leave, just leave it, it alone. Leave it you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, <laughs> you know, and then we have the additional flavors if, you know, if it's requested. Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, so tell me uh, a little bit about Black Girl Boss TV. Yeah, so I started a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and I promote just business and I just want to be inspiring to um, young up and coming entrepreneurs, anyone who's trying to get into it but don't feel like they can. I want to be that voice and speak to them. So, so I go on YouTube and I type in Black Girl Boss TV. Absolutely. And I want to find you. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yep. So before we wrap up, uh, tell me about the Bronx Holiday Pop-Up Shop. Yes, 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 yes. Most important. So I know that every year I give back. And I said, this year I want to give back, so what would I like to do this year, right? Um, I knew I wanted to do a toy drive, but I said, okay, everybody's doing a toy drive. Let me, like, spice it up a little bit. So what we're doing, we're giving back two ways. Mm -hmm. We're going to have pop-up shop, right, and it's going to be geared towards the small businesses in the Bronx. So I have over 12 secured now and we're still going up until Wonderful. December 10th. Okay. Um, the goal is to have 20 small businesses that are based in the Bronx come through and we're going to, you know, help them make some money for the holidays. And 50% awesome. of those proceeds is going to go to our toy drive for a shelter in the South Bronx. So, Wonderful. yeah, we're going to give them free pictures, free toys. We're just going to make it just a big thing. So we're giving back to the local businesses and we're giving back to the kids. That's wonderful. Yep. Thank yeah. you so much for, for coming on today. No, thank you for having um, me. Make sure you cut. No, I am. I'm, I'm actually ready to do this. So um, please forgive me if I make a huge mess because. No, dig on in. Let me get I lack grab all one of civility these. when I eat food, especially sugary things. Mm -hmm. So here I go. Uh, I, I'm just going to have. Uh, please, someone give me a napkin because I'm going to just <laughs> totally make a huge mess. Here I go. Ah, oh, dig mm. in. Oh, wow. mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. just, yeah, everywhere. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah. I'm being fancy. Let me dig in. <laughs> so you you have um what I call manners. Yeah. I don't. You gotta mm. keep it cute, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is good. I'll eat this. Okay. Good. <laughs> so good. Guys, made by Kay's Bronx holiday pop up shop with a purpose will be taking place on December fifteenth from twelve PM to 5 p.m. at MME Banquet Hall located at 868 East 180th Street in the Bronx. 50% of the night's proceeds will be donated to a toy drive and to a Bronx homeless shelter. For more information and to be a vendor or volunteer, email madebyk at gmail.com. You can also follow on Instagram at madebykevents. Yes. Right? Well, that's all for the show, guys. I'm going to keep cleaning up my face. Thank <laughs> you again for tuning in and thank you to our guests for joining us today. Tune in every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. here on Bronx at Optimum 67 and Files 33. Also tune in on the go at bronxnet.org and find us on YouTube. From Bronxnet to the world, this is Foodie Down Bronx. I'm your host, Anne the Hungry Dominican, reminding you to feed your mind, feed your body, and if you see me coming along, feed me. Adios. <laughs>